welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I have a planner supplies haul to share with you. So that means I have a mix of stickers and washi and um, charms and clips for my traveler's notebook and all sorts of good stuff to share with you. I'm as always, all of the timestamp links will be included in the description bar, so in case you want to jump around. And I also do include links to the shops themselves, as long as any like referral links, if that helps you get a discount, anything like that, I will list those as well. The final plug I'll put at the beginning, I haven't mentioned this in a haul in probably a few months. I will just go ahead and mention Ebates. Ebates is a basically internet kind of referral program that every time you use it to shop online, you get a percent of the cash back. It is totally legit. I think people see it and they're like, this can't possibly be for real but you really do get a percent of your money back and they pay out quarterly um, I do have a referral link below that earns you some money if you use it for your first time purchase using Ebates but either way sign up to use Ebates Etsy is on Ebates and it's only 1% but even when it's only one per like that adds up if you're buying a lot of stickers and sometimes they run promos they ran a promo a couple weeks ago where a bunch of shops including Etsy were 10% back so that's like 10% discount on top of like all of your other like codes that you can use. So I think Ebates is awesome. I would recommend signing up if you haven't. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the haul. I'm going to start with this gigantic package that traveled all the way from Portugal. And this is from Hello Petite Paper. And I have a couple of different things in this order, hence the um, kind of giant packaging that it came in. So I'm gonna start first with these accessories. So Vanessa has started doing her own traveler's notebook like kits and inserts and all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, this was my first, this was a, the, I think the first release she did, which was her traveler's notebook inserts. And I picked them up in two different sizes. I got the pocket size and the personal size. The, she didn't have an A6 size, which is my current preference right now, but pocket inserts fit into an A6, which is just like the number three size. They're just a little too narrow, but these will fit in fine. So that's why I went ahead and picked these up. And let me go ahead and show you. So they have these gorgeous covers. That's like her hand-drawn print. I got the kit that had this print and I loved it. it has these beautiful swans on the inside cover the cover is really um, sturdy it's like I don't know if you guys can hear that it's um it's definitely sturdier than just like regular paper um, and it's it's very nice and it'll protect it and then the actual inserts themselves look like this and so you have the little, so you have kind of, it's a little horizontal grid for each day. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a note section. And on each day you have a list for four to do's that you could put in, at least in the pocket size. And so I love this for kind of like a weekly overview. I have seen uh, Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co. use these so adorably in her Instagram. And I was like totally inspired to try them. And so I thought this, you could like write in, you know, any like events you have over here and like I would probably put in my workouts and then you could put in your kind of top four things that you need to get done so I love this super simple won't be heavy on the stickers but I just think this is really nice so I got two of the pocket size ones since it was a pre-sale and she was, wasn't good planning on bringing this design back um, and I really liked the quote and the covers and everything so I picked up two in the pocket size and then the personal size same concept just you get a bit more space uh, because it is the personal size so you get a nice big chunk of space for the day itself and then um you get five to do's that you can write in so honestly if you're like a minimal planner i think this would these inserts are really perfect for you and yeah i'm excited because now hello petite paper i think is doing more traveler's notebook kits and stuff too so you could kind of bring those in as well so i got these inserts from her i thought these were adorable and then i also got this coordinating notepad i already had one of these from her from her Oh, what is it called? Um, her mystery kit one month. She had done one of these in a different print, but I just thought this was so gorgeous. I love this. I think I kind of want to take it into work, even though there's Saturday and Sunday, I could use those for something else. I also really like it for pre-planning because you can kind of put all your things on there and any extra notes. Um, and honestly, just to keep on my desk, sometimes it's just nice to have like, Sometimes I like writing really minute to-dos for myself, like email this person and like, do you know put this load of laundry away like re like edit this particular video um and i sometimes i don't have space for all of that in my erin condren so leaving this on my desk could totally serve that purpose and of course it's with her gorgeous hand-drawn print and the little swans down there i just thought this was adorable so those were kind of the stationary items i picked up from hello petite paper and then here i've got some stickers and this was a kit that vanessa released 
Um, and it's kind of 4th of July themed. I haven't decided yet if I want to use it for 4th of July. But let me go ahead and show you what it comes with. So first up, you have your little sticker freebie here. I love this because it does coordinate. Um, it has the pink and the blues. I love this little time to plan one, the Coffee Monday. Super functional. And then she was also running a freebie on the first day that it was released with this extra full box. Some extra, I love these little extra functional items, the coffee cup, the camera, the envelope, and the movie marquee. Um, I love these. Um, so she had that and that's on her. And that is on the matte paper, which actually feels pretty nice. I don't know if it's new or not. I kind of forget. But anyway, and then... Um, I actually didn't order this because she hadn't released it yet, but I was like asking Vanessa about it in the Instagram comments and she was so sweet and went ahead and threw it into my order because it was not coming out till the next week. I love these for all of her kits, these little add-on sheets that have all of the functional deco. You have like the little bathtub, the coffee cup. This face mask is amazing. The car planner. This is so freaking cute. I love the coffee cup with the bow. As always, all of her stuff is hand designed and hand drawn, which I think is amazing. Um, yeah, so that was really sweet. Thank you, Vanessa. And then here is what I went and had and ordered. So this is the little add-on deco sheet that you can pick up to add on to the kit. I just thought this was so pretty with the like the floral kind of headers there and the extra bows and stuff that I did want to pick this up as an add-on. I love the nautical theme here. I could either use this for the week we're going to Nantucket, which is very preppy and nautical, or I think with the color scheme, it could be like a very muted 4th of July spread, maybe like for my traveler's notebook if I don't want something as patriotic. I thought this was really pretty. But then here is the actual kit. I got it in vertical, glossy. Her new glossy paper is very nice. Um, definitely, I like it a lot better than her old glossy paper. So feels really good. It still has a little bit of that residue feel that I've mentioned before, but I really like it. So anyway, let's walk through this kit. These are the full boxes. I love these. I thought this was so cute. This is like the perfect use of a girl to me. It's like not like a super glam girl it's just like has a really cute ponytail with the bow in it I love that I love all the designs of course the little nautical touches and of course good vibes only very nice and here is this functional sheet as always her adorable scalloped checklists uh, her flags her long quarter boxes and her icons and stuff like that and of course that gorgeous weekend banner and then next up is the washi sheet. You have your bottom washi. She does the two strips. I really like the little polka dotted one. I think that's so cute. She added the weekly ombre and the habit tracker. Very nice. And some extra washi strips. And here are your headers. Her headers are always so gorgeous. I love the printed one she's included. Um, and then she has like these little touches of prints on some of them. It's really, really pretty. But you get your odds and ends to do today. And then this functional sheet has your little things and half boxes. Very pretty, just little touches of glitter, not like over the top. And then finally, these are stunning in this kit. These are the full box heart checklist. I love these, especially the printed ones and that one with the little rose on the top. Oh, so pretty, so gorgeous. So yeah, this is a really, really pretty kit. I definitely foresee myself using this sometime soon this summer because this is gorgeous. So that is it from Hello Petite Paper. Next up, sticking on the kind of stationary and sticker combo order, I have an order from Frank Hearts U. In my last haul, I mentioned that I ordered from Frank Hearts U for the first time during the PBC sale. And I, before I even uh, had received that order, I went ahead and placed the second one because she had this pre-sale for some papers and like uh, accessories. So let me go ahead and open this one first. So it comes in this really cute bag. I saved these because I could use this for like, Traveler's Notebook stuff. And um, first up, I had I did order a few sheets of stickers. I'll just show you those quickly first. Comes with this really cute little um, freebie note card from the desk of Sprinkles. Sprinkles is her little unicorn character. And then these are the two sheets of stickers, uh, Sprinkles ones I ordered. I kept saying, I'm not trying to like, I don't want to get too many Sprinkles because I have so many character stickers, but look how freaking funny these are. This one says Majestic AF or AF, um, Majestic as fuck. Obviously that is my life. Um, I love these. I think they're so funny. Like, I don't know when I'm going to use them, but I, I know whenever I use them, they're going to bring me a lot of joy. And she does have some different sizes, which is perfect. And then I did get these. I thought this was so cute. And it's like a little unicorn kind of hugging the laptop. So like when you have like a long day of work or you're just like exhausted and you, but you still have stuff to do. Um, I think these are really, really cute and I just really like the little sprinkles character. So just a couple sheets of sprinkles. I'm trying to resist buying like the entire line, even though it's super cute. And then the next thing I ordered was this 
little bow. She had sold out of it very quickly during the PBC sale, so then she did a pre-sale for it, which was really cool. And what I, what it is, is a little um, traveler's notebook bow. So it is, and it has the sprinkles theme on it. So let me go ahead and pop this off. So it is nice. It's a really stiff, nice fabric. It actually feels really good. Um, it has the little sprinkles on it with the little flamingo. I think it is so freaking cute. Um, I, you'll see, I have some coordinating papers and I kind of want to do like a theme in this. Um, but I just think it's really, really cute. I, the palm leaves, I really hope she does more of these that are not necessarily like seasonal themed. Like I'd love to have one of these that like I could use year round, uh, because the, the palm leaves, I think, and the flamingos make it pretty summery. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cute. She says, gently fluff it. I don't know how you fluff a bow. How do you fluff a bow? I don't know. I think, I think it's good like this. I think it looks really cute. Really nice quality. Um, I think she probably got these made. These are really nice. So very cute. And then on to the paper pack. While she was doing the pre-sale for those, she also did a pre-sale for some papers. And here is the pack that coordinates with that one and I'm like I'm wondering if I should just add this into my like already existing setup for in my my summer setup using the uh, planner society kit or I don't know but so she did these paper pre-sales and it comes with one sheet of vellum vellum's this really like the pa paper that sounds like that it's really thin it's translucent and she printed it with this amazing um little sprinkles in the cabana kind of print on it. I think this is so gorgeous. This is definitely big enough to use. Probably you could go up to a size six planner in the Foxy Fix. So I think a size standard um, or down, I think this could work in for a little fold over. But yeah, that is so fun. And then it also came with four other sheets of paper. And then this one is um, obviously this gorgeous, like my commanda or yours, little sprinkles, so funny. And I don't know if you can see, it has a little bit of shimmer on it. I don't know if it'll show up on camera at all. I wouldn't call it a glitter paper or anything, but it's just slightly shimmery in a really, really gorgeous way. And then on the back, it has this print. And you guys know I've been super into Traveler's Notebook decorating and using them recently. So I thought these would be a lot of fun. The only problem is summer's almost over. So I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to use it this year, but I really like this. And then here's the second one. It says, stay cheeky, <laughs> little rainbow butt. This is like the little sunscreen pose. I think that is so cute. And then it has green stripes on the back. This one is watermelon with a little rainbow butt again. So cute. And that's the same print on both sides. And here is that same print, both sides again. Um, so yeah, so this is really, really cute. The only problem is you don't get like bigger sheets of paper. So it'd be hard to make entire dashboards of these. So you'd have to use like the vinyl dashboards from Foxy Fix or something and stick them in there. And the other problem is these, I just thought of this. Oh shoot, because I use smaller ones, I tend to use like um, a size number three or four. If you had to cut these down, you might lose some of it. And I don't want to do that because these like twinkle lights are so cute. So yeah, so I need to think about how I'm going to use these. Um, they're really cute though. I thought it's a really, really cute idea. To, um, and Frank Hartsio is run by, I think, Wendy and Frank or I don't know, but Wendy, I think they do, they do draw all their own stuff. So you won't see these anywhere else. So that is so fun. And then I did get a second pack of papers and I actually got two of these because I haven't, I did have already have an idea of how I wanted to use these. And I kind of want to think about making a little themed sweets notebook with these papers themed. So it only came with three papers. So I got two sets of them so that I could use them. Um, like, so I could have two of the same one on either side of a dashboard. And I'm thinking I might turn my Mochi uh, Foxy Fix into a sweets themed planner. I just thought that would be really, really cute. So here, first up we have um, this gorgeous little Pop-Tart one with sprinkles. Like, like, I don't know if you can see the little tongue. It's so cute. And it is the same print on both sides. Again, it's that really pretty, like has a subtle shimmer paper. It's so nice. And then this one is like little, what are those called? Icicle? No, what are those called? Uh, snow cones and popsicles and like, again, with sprinkles. And I just think these are so sweet. Um, ha, so sweet. <laughs> um, and then here you have like peppermint hair and like a little snow or like a little ice cream cone uh, horn. Really, really cute. So I just thought these papers were a lot of fun and could be very fun in like a traveler's notebook theme. So might be on, be on the look for some time. I'm gonna do that one. That one would be more, 
seasonless to me so I don't have to worry about doing that this summer as much but yeah I thought that would be a lot of fun I'm trying to think of like ways to do travelers notebook themes that are not just the planner society um so yeah so yeah so I got two packs of those so that I had them so that is it from Frank Hart's You. And then staying on the Traveler's Notebook theme, I got an order from a new to me shop um, during the PBC sale. This is my paper love studio. I have never ordered from her. I've been following her on Instagram for a while because I really like her stuff, but I had never placed an order. And then during the PBC sale, I was like, you know what? It is time to finally do it. So um, comes wrapped in this. This actually, she is based in Singapore. So it actually does take a little bit of time to get uh, from her but you know I think it's worth it and the shipping wasn't it was a little expensive but it wasn't outrageous um, but yeah so that's just one thing to note and then here are the freebies that came with my order first up we have this little business card from her thank you for your support and then this one is like this little funny I think this must be her character it's like a little um, die cut that says I'm a planner diva and it's this like little manatee thing with a crown on it. It's so cute. I like the little manatee. And then here are some more stickers. This is so cute. Um, and this is the PBC sale freebie and it's like her little manatee character. That's really, really cute. And then here is another little freebie. These ones are really pretty. The little uh, yellow little paper clip bow things. Very cute. So that's very nice. And then here's my order. So um, first up I ordered these little cards because I thought they would be perfect for various um, traveler's notebook setups. Um, they are basically just little date cards, but they were really simple and they started in July 2017 and go through the end of 2018. So I thought that would be perfect. I'll have these for a while. Super simple, but I love, I really would, I, I really think it would be very functional to have something like this in the front of my dashboard in my traveler's notebook. So in case I just want to quickly refer to the dates. Um, and this, I just got this style that is basic white and it has some gold glitter dots and black font. And I just thought that would be, go with a lot of different themes in my traveler's notebook and I could use it with a variety of colors. So got those, very functional. And then I decided to try out one of her Traveler's Notebook kits. I had not, um, obviously, as I said, not bought from her before, but she does have these like little, they're almost like little mini kits. They're not like, obviously not as big as like the Planner Society kits, um, but I went ahead and decided to pick this up. It is in this art that is from Bloomsicle that I have been obsessed with. I love this art. I did a kit with it from Two Little Bees and I have a plan with me on my channel for that. Um, and I just loved it so much and I bought the art from another shop too because I liked it so much. So I knew when I saw this kit, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get it. I got it in the personal size because I thought it would look amazing in my Foxy Fix Boss Babe Kate. Um, so let me show you what comes in this little traveler's notebook set. So first up, you get two sheets of gorgeous vellum that is printed with the designs. Again, vellum's that translucent paper that has that really fun sound to it and this is already sized for a personal dashboard or personal insert um and it is gorgeous gorgeous vellum i love this print so much and you get this one that has the camera on it and a slightly bigger version of the print and both of them have this little thing that you could like write something on it i don't really know what the purpose of that is i guess you could just label it somehow but um i just love this so pretty and then it also comes with this little packet which has a lot of fun goodies in it and I'm trying not to get the sequins everywhere. So what it comes with, I'm getting sequins everywhere. Oh God. Um, so what it comes with obviously are a bunch of sequins. You could make a shaker dashboard or do something with that. And then it also comes with a good selection of die cuts from the clip art. So you have these little florals from the clip art. You have the hat, you have the planner, the camera, the little briefcase and the little plane. Gorgeous, I love those die cuts. And then she includes two note cards that are June and July 2017. So I guess I need to use this soon. Um, and I think she releases these every few months. So she really, she includes a couple of different um, months in there so that you can use it for them. But I could always pull in, if I decide to use it after those months, I could always pull this in and it just wouldn't quite be coordinating, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, these are a lot of fun. You could put those on a dashboard. And then finally, she includes this little notes one and you could use that however you want. But again, it has the little clip art on there and is quite nice. 
And then the other things you get are these amazing bookmarks. I loved these. Um, and this one says today. And the idea is you just slide this right over the top of your page and then this would stick at the top. These are laminated, feel very sturdy and nice. And then this one you could just use to mark whatever, um, but has the sandals. And I just love the art on these. Both of these feel very sturdy, really nice. Love the coordinating. And then finally, you do get some stickers that she includes. Um, so you have these, it's like a little kit, a little traveler's notebook kit. I will say I'm not particularly impressed with the quality of her stickers, like they're fine, but it just feels like a pretty thin um, mat, um, nothing, you know, and like the printing just looks a little fuzzy in places, but um, I wasn't really ordering this for the stickers. So yeah, but it's a cute little kit. So you get like these little glitter headers here and those are fun. And then you get these little appointment labels. And then you get this that has this cute little like um, some strips that you could use for the traveler's notebook. And then the little flags and quarter boxes and things like that. And then here, this is um, just, you have some more uh, like half boxes that are kind of decorative, a quote box, some checklists, half boxes, quarter boxes, lots of different stuff, cute little deco. My only complaint is that this is clearly sized for like a pocket planner. So she doesn't like print a separate one. I ordered the personal size, but it's, you get this and it's like kind of sized for the pocket because she probably just makes one sticker kit and like if you get a pocket you get the pocket accessories and still the pocket kit i don't know if that makes sense so um so yeah so that so it's not really sized for the personal so i was kind of bummed about that i honestly wish she would just do kits that have a few more like accessory things and just skip out on the stickers like i don't need the coordinating stickers i'd rather just have a few more things like more sheets of vellum or some papers or anything like that i think i would uh, prefer over just having the stickers in the kit but I still think this is really cute as it is you can always use these stickers to decorate your like dashboards instead of actually as a kit too I guess that's an idea um that I might do so yeah I thought this is gorgeous I should definitely set up my boss babe Kate with it soon um I just really love this art and think it's so beautiful for a traveler's notebook so that is it from my paper love studio fun to try out a new shop and from new shop to old shop, I am in going in no particular order in this haul, in case you can't tell, by the way. Um, I just have a small little order here from Pen Gems. I just got one pen, and it was her designer release with My Newest Addiction. I did get a really cute little new penguin slash stormtrooper slash Darth Vader. Um, I got it in the silver, which I was really excited about. Very cute. And then you get all your business cards and all of that, and of course your little extra refill but here are the goods I love this I thought this was really pretty I was kind of debating on getting it because honestly I prefer her gold hardware pens to her silver hardware that's just like my preference because a lot of my planners have gold coils and things like that or gold accessories but I knew if I didn't get this, I was gonna have serious FOMO and I'm really glad I did because it's so gorgeous. It has these really pretty pink periwinkle and purple gems in the top. Really gorgeous kind of like silver chrome body um, or not chrome, but like silver steel gray sort of body. And then the gem on top is this gorgeous iridescent kind of like rainbow pink gem. And I just think this is so stunning. So I am glad I picked up that pen gem. So that is it from pen gems. Next up, I have my PVC sale order from Little Red Prints. I really like her functional stuff. Um, it included an airhead. When was the last time you had an airhead? Man, that's a throwback. Um, and yeah, so the shipping on this did take, I will say, took a little longer than most shops, but I was fine because I think she listed her stuff as taking a little bit longer. Um, and I'm really happy with what I got. I had had a few more things I wanted to order from her, but I decided to wait for the sale and I'm glad I did. Always good to wait for a sale. I really, really like her for functional stuff, like I mentioned. And so let me go ahead and show you what we got. First up, we have the little um, freebie sampler here. And you always take on the freebie sampler, you take the little dot and you put it on here. And once you fill that up, you get like a free sheet and then 25% off your order. Um, so I have another one that I'm saving. So I'll put it over on there. I think these are really cute. The Manny Petty one's adorable. Um, and those are really cute. And then I first up, I got a few of her little script half sheets. I thought these would be really fun to keep in my traveler's notebook. And I really like these script half, sh half sheets because 
I hate my own handwriting and it's nice to have somebody else write the things that I would write anyway, but in a cute font. So first off, I got the workout ones. You guys know I work out a lot, so that will be, definitely get used. Next up, I got these um, YouTuber ones, and this was a slightly different font. I already have one of these that I've used a bit um, in a different font, and this was kind of like sketchy. I thought with the right spread, this could look kind of cool. I think I like the other font better, but um, you know, something different. And it just says film, edit, upload. Then we have the cookout one. I love these. I ha we have been grilling a fair amount already this summer, um, and I just like that it just is simple and cookout, and then it has cute little grills in different colors although this is a charcoal grill we definitely do not have a charcoal grill and then i got this one that says girls day i think this is awesome because uh as i enter as i approach my 30s my girlfriends and i are doing a lot more girls like brunch or girls shopping or girls day stuff as opposed to like going out at night uh you know this is hashtag this is 30 um but i so girls day is more appropriate often than like the girls night stickers than a lot of other shops sell so i thought these were really cute again pretty simple she just cuts out around the words um and you get the little hearts her paper is a very nice papery premium mat it is not like a super i wouldn't call it a super buttery premium mat but it's a really nice papery one um i don't know why i peeled that up because it's not sticking down again it's stupid um and yeah i just thought that was really cute and here we have some she did a two dollar tuesday a few weeks back in her neutral color scheme for whatever reason i didn't order then because i was like oh you're only gonna get a couple things i don't know it might have been cheaper to order in the two dollar tuesday but whatever um so I did go ahead and pick these up during this sale though because she still had them in her shop just not for two dollars and they are this it's like her new neutral color scheme I would love for her to do more in this color scheme I think it is awesome it has like some good grays some muted blues and teals the blush pink is perfect the tans really cute and then this is just a little box that says little quarter box that says don't forget um, I just think this is nice for little reminders and you know whatever you want to put in it cute and then I got her habit trackers. I know I will get a lot of use out of these. I like um, the style of these a lot. This is my favorite type of style where you just check off the days and you have a little space to write it in, what your habit is. And again, the neutral color scheme is perfect. And I like that she has multiple on the same sheet of the same color because I like to use like if I use this color I'll want to have two habits in that color so I can pull both of those in so I only got one sheet um, but I could see myself easily going through this and then I picked these up we have been going to the farmer's market a fair amount honestly probably won't get through this entire sheet this summer but um, I do really enjoy going to the farmer's market and um, getting produce while it is fresh and in season so I thought this was really cute, probably more for like my traveler's notebook or my like plan as I go style planning um, than my than my actual Erin Condren, but I just think these are really cute. And then the final sheet I got was this adorable little summer sampler. I loved this for stuff that I probably won't use every like week, but. Okay guys, so I think I might have just gotten cut off by my camera at the end of Little Red Prince, but a lot of good functional stuff here and I am excited to work with that. So next up we have my order from Simply Gilded and I was saying before I got cut off that you guys should let me know down below if you like the planner supplies hauls like this where I'm kind of jumping around between accessories and stickers or if you want like all the accessories at the beginning and all the stickers at the end or vice versa. Just let me know what you guys want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop open these rolls. There's wanted to show you how they are packaged simply gilded I'm right there and this was my order for her tropical bows uh set and uh with it came with this amazing journaling card that says you jelly and it has this uh, jellyfish that is silver foiled i love this i think this is so fun and the simply gilded is super tiny so you can easily use that like in a um traveler's notebook setup or something i just think that is so cute um and then here's my order i feel like i've been making an order of simply gilded washies like once a week for like the last month you usps is currently holding another order hostage that i was hoping would be here before this but but God knows where it is. And um, I just placed another order like last Friday. Like it is, her stuff has been so on point recently. I will say I might not have ordered this set if I did not have like a weird completionist obsession with getting all the bows. I just, you know, I don't know how much use I'll get out of some of these colors, like this yellow one, um, but you know, I want, I gotta have all the bows. Like what choice did I have guys? Um, so 
Let me go ahead and get all these out and I'll walk you through it. I don't know the individual names of them, but uh, the first one is probably the one I will definitely get the most use out of. It is a brighter pink color, so not as soft as her other bow washi, a true bright pink, and it has gold bows on it. Really pretty there. And then we have this yellow one that has these silver iridescent bows on it, and it's a true bright yellow. And then we have this green one, and I think this is gold, uh, might be rose gold. I think this is a rose gold, actually, yeah. This one looks like more of a rosy gold on the green one. That could be really actually pretty for St. Patrick's Day, even. And then this blue one, again, has the silver iridescent bows. Um, so yeah, so they're a little bit brighter colors, which is not normally as much my speed, but, but unfortunately I have to own all the bows, so like, what choice did I have? But yeah, those are really cute for summer. So that is it from Simply Gilded. Next up, I have an order here from a shop I haven't ordered from in a while, and that is Hello Simple Paper. I ordered this, I believe she was having a... Sorry if you're hearing very intense sounds in the background. That is my dog. Um, I ordered this, I think, from... I think she had like a Mother's Day sale or some sort of sale. She was running a sale. Maybe it was like a right before she uh, left for vacation sale. I forget. But anyway, I picked up a few things I had been eyeing from her shop for a while. It came with this really large, really pretty like cardstock, probably to keep the order solid, but it also could be like a really nice, like you could totally cut this down and use it in a dashboard. I do save like all of the things I get from shops like this. Like these two together are just, the, they're the start of a mermaid setup for your traveler's notebook. So I always save things like this and I can pull them into future spreads. But so I got a couple of things from her. I got one sticker kit and then I got some of her new like paper clips and gems. I'm gonna show you the stickers first. So I will tell you, this was a kit that I was totally torn on until I saw it. Of course, Planner Sophisticate used it and used it beautifully. And I saw it on her Instagram and I was like, oh my God, I need to have it. I will say I'm like very torn on the concept of like these photo kits. So like most kits that I buy use clip art, which is like hand drawn by artists and they draw it and you can tell that it's kind of a hand drawn effect. Whereas I've seen like Hello Simple Paper, Shop Jessica Hearts, a few other shops starting to experiment with instead of doing hand drawn illustrations, they're using actual photographs that they buy the rights to use and put those as your full boxes. And honestly, I was kind of like torn because it I don't know, at that point you're getting, you're veering very close into like scrapbooking, but they're not even your own photos. So I just was like thinking that that might be a weird vibe. But when I saw Jacenia use this kit, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So let me go ahead and show you this. I thought it was, this would be such a beautiful kit for an anniversary week, which I might is, cause I have an anniversary art, it's right, um, at the like end of summer, it's Labor Day weekend is our anniversary. So this could be like the perfect kind of like going into fall vibe because it has like a little bit of the greens and the muted tones. I don't know, I just thought this was so gorgeous. So anyway, let me show you what we have here. First up, we have the gorgeous full boxes, which like I said, are very photo-esque. And it says, um, do small things with great love for the quote box. I love that. So pretty, it's just really different. Like I was like, I think I was torn on it because it was so different, but I think that's what makes it really cool. Next up, you have your full box heart checklist here. I really like the style. The way I would use these is actually just coloring in the hearts as I use them. I think that'll look really streamlined and pretty. And then this is the, like a functional sheet and you have your really cute printed half boxes, some little lists, uh, some deco that are just like these heart rose things. A really pretty weekend banner and then the numbers for the date covers. And I think she's, I only bought from her like once and I think she's recently redone her kits. Her kits are very simple, but I think in a really nice way. You guys know I've been really enjoying bringing in like a lot of my gold foil stuff recently. So I think this is a kit that really lends itself to adding in stuff from your own collection. Um, and here we have this amazing bottom washi. It's like crin, what's that word? Crinoline, creoline, anyway. Um, with some like dried roses on it. You get a weekly ombre for the sidebar, one habit tracker, some quarter boxes of flag, payday bill due, a few simple icons, although two fitness ones, so yay for that. And then some flags for the top corner. 
She has a really nice glossy paper, by the way. Um, she, you know, uh, pretty basic glossy, but feels really nice. Um, and then you get some simple headers here to do today odds and ends. Sidebar, a few little things, but not enough to do like an entire week's worth of meals. And then your gorgeous date covers with, again, that same print as the bottom washi. So really simple, but I mean, I think they're pretty affordable. I think without a discount code, they are $20 for a five page kit, which I think is very affordable. Uh, and you're not gonna get like a ton of leftovers, which is really nice, you know? So if you're looking for like a more basic kit, I think this is a good place to start. So really, really gorgeous. Excited to try that out. And then the other thing that she started doing are these new, I think she, what's the word? Druzy? Am I pronouncing that right? Is it druzy? Druzy? I don't know. But the concept is like these little gem clips and charms. Um, and I've been eyeing them for a while and she uh, does tend to sell out of them, but they're really, really, really pretty. So I went ahead and picked some up with this order because these, the coupon code did apply to these. I guess it doesn't always, but for this particular sale, it did. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I, I had unclipped this already to check it out. Um, and these are these clips or charms, druzy, whatever you want to call it. So basically I got two sets of matching ones. I got the little white one. I thought this would go with a lot of different um, notebooks I have. I love the gold clips. Um, very simple. It feels like rough. So there's no like cover on it. It actually just feels kind of like glitter rough on it. I thought there would be like a cover over it. I don't know why. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's like shellacked, but it's just not, uh, there's no cover over it. And um, so I got that set in the, I got the paper clip and then I got the charm to go with it, which is this one. And these are just really short little charms that you could hang on the top or the bottom of your traveler's notebook. I love how delicate and simple they are. Um, you know, you're not gonna like, you know, they don't stand out as much as like some of the bigger bows and stuff, but I think they're really pretty. And then I also got that same type in the little rose gold one here. And this has this gorgeous, like kind of muted mauve rose gold uh, shimmer there. And then I got the matching one for the charm for that. And then the final charm I got was just this purple and metallic gold one. I thought that was really pretty. And this one does have something over top of it. So it's not, doesn't feel like this one feels like a gem as opposed to like this one feels like rough, like glitter. So um, really cute. I just think these are really cute little simple accessories. Uh, really cute little simple way to add style to your travel notebook. Simple, 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 simple. Makes sense. Um, and so that was it from Hello Simple Paper. The final order in this haul is another uh, Traveler's Notebook Charm Shop, and this is new to me. I'm gonna go ahead and open it off camera because I wanted to show you guys how it was packaged because it looked really nice. I already took one of the bows out, but it comes packaged kind of like this. This is Dainty K Plans, um, and it came packaged really, really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these out. And you get this little card here um, that has like, uh, little info about her shop. And yeah, so Dainty K Plans is a traveler's notebook bow shop. I feel like I have seen her all over Instagram. A lot of people are really loving her stuff. I will say this, her stuff is pricey. Like these bows are freaking expensive. I honestly followed her for a while before I decided to place an order. I did get a 20%, I did place an order when she had a 20% off Mother's Day sale, but um, I still think these are kind of pricey. It's like $10 for a bow. Like that's a lot of money, but I will say this, I think she's doing really, really unique stuff. She uses fabric from actual fabric makers. So like Liberty, Rifle Paper, um, I forget some of the other names, but like actual famous fabrics that are expensive to buy. So that's why they're so expensive. And then she uses a lot of it. She does very thick bows that are really, really nice. And then she adds these charms if you want. And so I do feel like, given that they're like actual famous, nice prints, I do kind of feel like you're getting your money's worth, but I just, I don't, I feel like I have to tell you guys they are a little pricey. My, the other caveat is she did like one of my least favorite things that shops do. This is like one of my giant pet peeves. I hate when shops reach the end of their shipping period and instead of contacting the customer, what they do is they mark it as shipped and then they don't ship it until they're ready to ship it. And that is just really, really, really bothers me as a customer. Like that just 
personally ticks me off. Um, and I contacted her about it because it didn't ship. It was just sitting in pre-shipment for like a week. And she basically said, I'm sorry, the order wasn't ready. Uh, here's 25% off your next order, which I think is really good. I think that's a really good way to resolve the situation. So I'm really happy with the customer service I received, but I was just very annoyed that I didn't receive a note in the first place that said, hey, I'm sorry, the orders are running behind. They're not gonna ship yet. Here's the date when they're gonna ship. That's all I wanted. I understand people oversell, you know, she has a family. Like I get that that happens, but that is the type of customer service I want to receive as opposed to kind of the response retroactive. Like if I hadn't contacted her, I don't know that she would have done anything. She just would have shipped it when she shipped it. So anyway, let me get off my soapbox. That is just a thing um, that I just is like a little mini personal pet peeve. But once I got them, they are really gorgeous. They're really, really pretty. They're very different than like some ribbon bows that I've gotten from other shops because they are fabric and they're so like, they're so fat, like in a good way. Like they're really chunky and like they just feel really, really nice. So here are the different bows I got. So I got this one. I think Maria talked me into picking this one up, but this is a really pretty satin fabric that has this gorgeous floral on it. And it has a pink velvet wraparound and the little gold charm, really, really pretty. And I loved this one for spring. It has like blue and pink in it and it has the pink little velvet on there. And I just think this is so, so pretty. And then of course, you guys know I had to pick up the purple one and it comes with this really pretty charm at the bottom. I think you can get a lot of her, her uh, bows with or without the beads at the bottom. But yeah, I thought this was so gorgeous. I love this fabric, the purple fabric. And then finally, I just thought this gorgeous neutral one. I think this fabric is from Liberty. Beautiful little like um, very subdued gray, really pretty cream velvet with the gold little charm there. So yeah, so that is really, really pretty. Like I said, a little bit pricier, but if you're looking for some really, really gorgeous and unique um, special bows, I think she is a good place to look. So. So guys, that is it for this planner supplies haul. Let me know down below, like I said, about how you wanna see these types of hauls in the future. Another option I forgot to mention earlier is that I just kind of, as this stuff comes in, I just incorporate it to my normal sticker hauls, but I know some of you guys are less interested in this stuff. So yeah, let me know what you wanna see about these in the future. I'm definitely buying a lot of planner accessories and traveler's notebook stuff, cause that's just where my personal like interest is moving right now, but yeah, so let me know. The other thing about these hauls, I did decide to stop including the Planners of Society kits. I figured people see those in plenty of other people's hauls and I'll just do it, I'll just share those in a separate video if, I, if and when I decide to actually do a Traveler's Notebook setup with those kits. I'll just share with you the kit that I'm using as like kind of a mini haul before that setup, if that makes sense. So, but let me know if you really miss the, the Planner Society stuff. Um, but yeah, I figured those were getting a little redundant to have those every. So that is it for this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and definitely go ahead and subscribe to see more of my hauls and to see how I use all this stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.